everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Round Reviews. Today we have the Ojai High 18 Watt Rainbow Pin Spot. Now the reason this is a rainbow pin spot is instead of just being a white light, this has 16 different colors that it can create. Not only can it do a lot of colors, it has different modes. It's not just a static light, it can also do a breathing and a strobe light. And it has brightness control, which is a nice little addition, all controlled through an RF remote control. Now the best thing that I like about this, and the reason I really wanted to get this thing, is that it is zoomable. So a pin spot is usually something you put high up into the air and you want to hit something with it. And with that, it usually the farther back you go, the bigger the light gets. Well with this one, since it's zoomable, if you're here and it's here, you can make it a small light or you can actually make it a bigger light, almost five times the size, just by rotating the front of the light on its uh, zoom or focus control. So, that all being said, let's open this up and see what's inside the box. So the first thing I see is the remote control. It actually lets you choose all the different colors right here. There's power on and off, brightness on and off, speed control, and then you have your breathe and your strobe. And what's also nice is if you lose the remote control or you can't find it after you turn off the power, the light does remember the last setting that it had. What else is in here? Well, you got a screw to hold everything together, the mounting bracket, the light right here. You got some multicolored gels. Here's a green and magenta, a magenta and orange, an orange and a blue, and a green and a blue. So you can put those in, mix them with the existing 16 colors, and you can kind of get a, a, a rainbowish effect or a blended effect. And the instruction manual. So this thing goes together really simple. You just take the mounting bracket and you screw it on here. Just like this. Whoops. So this is made that you can put a screw into it or a nail and mount it up onto a wall. Um, you'll see in here there's the large and small transition where you can actually hang it. Um, but what I usually do is I'll usually drill this out a little bit larger and put a clamp on it so I can mount it onto a pole. Because um, I like using these high up in the air on a pole shooting down at cakes or designs on tables. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is I am just going to uh, tape it onto the table. You got some power, and we're just going to plug it in. And as you can see right now, it's white. We're going to take the remote, pull out this little piece of plastic there, and we're going to make sure the remote works. I'm going to hit off. Okay, we're back. Put a new battery in here, and it is working now. So if I hit off, you'll see it turn off. On, it turns on. We can actually go through and see the different colors. So we got a red, a green, a blue, an orange, a lighter green, kind of a purplish color there. And there's a whole bunch of just different colors that you can choose in here. Hopefully that's uh, showing up pretty well here in the camera. Uh, let's go back to white. Um, we have that breathe mode I was telling you about, and that's going to cycle through all the colors, kind of transitioning or fading in between them. And then you have strobe, which is also, as you see, going through the colors and flashing really fast. So as right there, I actually chose white, and it's just flashing in white. So you can choose a certain color and then hit strobe, and it'll strobe that one color. But if you go to breathe and you hit strobe, it's going to strobe while actually going through all those colors. So that's an additional feature I wasn't aware of. All right, back to white. You have the um, brightness control here. So as you see, I can take it all the way off and then bring it up. It's got multiple steps in there. And then if we go to the back to the breathe, the other button on here is your speed. I can change the speed of that fading that happens. Um, let's see if it actually changes the strobe speed as well. Strobe speed does not seem to be changing. So the speed changing is for the breathing mode. So that's everything here that the remote can do. 
Uh, what I wanted to show you here is the zooming. It's going to be hard to see, so I will take the camera and point it to the wall in a second. But all you got to do is just rotate this, and it'll do the zoom. You're seeing this has got a lot of area to zoom in it. And as I zoom, I'm also seeing that there's numbers here. One, two, three. There's a four. Oh, so I'm wondering if that's the, uh, the remember I said it was about five times the size? I wonder if that's what this is doing, because it's got one through five written on here. And on the other side, it's got a small to a large circle. So that's actually going to help you figure out the zoom. And so let's go ahead and zoom this back in while we're waiting. Because there's one more thing I want to show you on here before I move the camera. And that's this red piece here. You can actually unscrew that as well. And then this is where these little gels go. So I'm putting in the blue and green. And I'm going to then screw that on. And you can now see that it's got the blue and the green here kind of mixed together. This side green, this side blue. And on the wall, it actually has a nice fade between the two. And I'll show you that in a second as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move this camera so we can see how the zoom works and the uh, gels in here work as well. Be right back. Okay, we have the light pointed at the wall so we can see it a little better. So obviously this is white. I'm just going to go through the colors here to show you the change in colors. And then we'll go to the breathe again so you can see how that looks here. And I'm going to slow that down just a little bit. I think that's still sped up from when I was doing that earlier. And just a quick uh, back to the white and the strobe. So now we know that we can actually see all that pretty well right here on the wall since I'm right on it. Now what I'm wanting to show you, we'll leave it here on the white. Right now I have the front of the light zoomed all the way in. So I'm going to start zooming it out and you're going to start seeing it get smaller. And like I was saying, you can get five times the difference here. You can really start to see it change. I'm sorry, you see my finger here getting in front of it as I spin it a little bit. Sorry, let me just get right there in front of it to really spin this thing out. You can start seeing it there. Sorry, that's a little shaky. I'm just still using the tape. So now you can really see the difference here. It went from being this big, from this big, down to this big here. I mean, there is a big difference. I am only about four feet away right now from the light to here. Um, so this right here is about six inches. So it, it's going from six inches to about 30 inches. Um, once again, we will screw that back in so you can see the difference. There's halfway. And then this right here is the whole thing. So remember, it was about that big, and now it's about that big. So there's a big difference in the zooming, which is great because with pin spots, like I was saying, I like using them as a cake spot for weddings. You got to get all the way back sometimes, like way out of the way, so your light's not in the way of the photographer or just in the middle of the room. So this zoomability really, really helps out. All right, so I'm going to screw it out a little bit just so I can grab it with one hand and then take off that red cover, which is this here. And we're going to put that blue green back in that blue green gel we used earlier. I'm going to screw this on. So once again, right now we're still using just the white light. And you can see here the green on top, the blue on the bottom, and it's got a nice transition here in the middle. And you can just sit there and rotate it around. So, now, once again, I'm using the white light, so if I want to bring in, uh, let's say, green. So here with this green, you actually have two shades of green coming in because of the green and the blue. So the green with the green stays green, and the green with the blue here gives you this nice, uh, not yet a turquoise or aqua, but it's starting to work towards there. Um, and if I bring in cyan, same thing. Blue and blue, blue and green of more of a cyan. So it lets you kind of do a little bit of a mixing that gives you more than just those 16 colors with the gels added in. 
Once again, this has been Monkey Round Reviews with the Ohi High 18 Watt Rainbow Pin Spot. If you've used a pin spot like this before, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.